Life is not about finding yourself. That's the first part of a famous quote. You might say, well, what do you mean? Shouldn't you try to find yourself? Shouldn't you try to find out what you like doing, what you enjoy? I mean, those are important things in life. Well, let me finish the quote. Life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Now, I do believe it is important to find yourself in some sense. And what I mean by that is, well, let me be really clear. I believe that every single person on earth has something, but we all have something. If you just think about the people you know in your personal life, your friends, your family, what does each person you know have? Maybe you have a friend who's really good at basketball. Maybe you have a friend who's really good at mathematics. Maybe you have a family member who's a great writer. Some people are very good public speakers. Public speaking is, by the way, one of the greatest fears of people. It's, it's a thing. You have to overcome it. So everyone, I think, has something. And I do think that we should leverage what we have. You know, if, if you're really good at something, try to leverage that somehow. Try to use that to your benefit. So find yourself in some sense. Or, you know, if, if you're really good looking, that can help you. Or if you're really athletic or if you're really fast, use what you have. Anything you have is good because life is hard. It's really, really hard. So try to find out what you have. But don't put all of your emphasis on this, oh, you just have to find yourself concept. I mean, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing to do, but you need to remember that life is about creating yourself. And I remember there was this quote, and I'm, I, I'm paraphrasing heavily here. This was something I heard Arnold Schwarzenegger say in some interview. And he basically said something along the lines of, and I'm, and I'm paraphrasing here, you, you, you can become what you want to become. You know, if, if, if this is the life you want to live, live it, right? Uh, Goggins, David Goggins, he, he says the same thing. And again, paraphrasing, right? You know, who, who do you want to become, right? Who do you want to become? Envision the person you want to become, that's what you should do. You should envision who you want to become or what kind of person you want to become and become that, right? Create yourself. So the quote, you know, life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. I actually kind of think it's a little of both, right? Because it is important to, to understand what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what you like, what you don't like, what you can improve on easily, what takes you more work to improve on. Maybe there's certain things that you have a harder time with. For example, I have a hard time building things with my hands. I am terrible at putting together furniture. I am not handy at all when it comes to like house things. I mean, I, I can do stuff. I, I do stuff out of, you know, necessity. <laughs> and everyone says that. Everyone says, oh, I, I learned because I had no choice. Yeah, but some people are naturally better at things, just like some people are naturally better at mathematics. Some people are naturally better at working with their hands. Some people are fast runners. So that's the finding yourself part. Then you need to think about what do you want out of life? What do you envision for your life? And that's the creation part. So life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. In some sense should be life is about both. Finding yourself and, and, then, and then using that knowledge to create the future you that you want to become. Another thing this quote does, I think, is that it empowers people. 
because if you put a lot of emphasis on finding yourself and finding out what you really love and finding out what really is, you know, what, what's passionate to you, that's great, but you're not, it's, it's putting you in a shell in some sense. It's like you're restricting yourself because you can do other things. You can, right? You can. Just because, for example, I'm not good at building things with my hands, I, I could make an extra effort to get better at it. And I always use that in my mind as an analogy when, when I see people who, who struggle with math because some people, very few, but there are some people who genuinely, and I'm talking struggle way more than other people. I know because I've taught. I've had so many students and there's usually a couple, usually, not always, really, really struggle and they just have an extra hard time you know, they, they just do, it's, it's just the way it is. And they can learn, they pass, and they do okay sometimes, but it's just harder for some people. It really is. So that's the finding yourself part. And then you can create yourself. These people who struggle with math, they, they somehow get through it. So yeah, that's, that's, that's another video. What do you think about this quote? Do you think that life is about finding yourself? Or do you think life is about creating yourself? Or neither? What are your thoughts? I'm very interested in seeing the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment. And when you leave comments, it helps other people. Oh, I forgot. I do have courses. Check them out. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're math courses. <laughs> They're math courses. This is a math channel. Uh, I just wanted to make this video just, just to touch on it, touch on this topic, because I, I do think that it applies to everything. Right? I mean, this is, this is life, right? It's bigger than, it's bigger than everything. That it really is. Life is not about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. And again, it, it, it gives you some hope too, in the sense that let's say you're one of these people who really struggles at math and you're like, ah, oh, I'm never going to make it through math. And, and you know, you, you, you failed a couple classes and you're just, you're trying and you know, you do what it takes and you get through it. But you can create yourself, right? You can create another version of you that maybe that's good at something else. You know, find out what you really like, find yourself, and then use that to create yourself and create that new version of you. And again, don't put up barriers. Don't, don't tell yourself that you can't do this or you can't do that. That's another thing you should do when you're, when you're thinking about this. And also try not to listen to other people's opinions of what you should or shouldn't do. I mean, I guess you should listen, but you always need to somehow try to block out the noise when, when making decisions that affect your life. And, that, and that's the hardest thing. And that's, that's another video. Until next time, I hope this has been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.